Hi friends, my name is Vanilla Gupta. So in this video, I am going to explain you the chapter Bio Statistics, and this is a big chapter, and this also contains further videos. And normally, in this in this video, I am just going to explain you the introduction and also the formulas for all of this. And these are again subdivided and like mean, median, mode. And in next videos, I am going to explain you about mean, and I will also give you the example how to calculate the. Uh, you know how to calculate this that sum for example I'm going to give you a sum and how to calculate that mean value or as median or as more and also I'm going to explain you the graphs and also the pie chart all of this I'm going to explain to you next videos but in this video I'm just going to give you introduction on biostatistics and also the formulas of mean median mode which comes under this classification okay so Coming to the introduction, biostatistics are the applications of statistics in the range of biology. For example, uh, for normally this biostatistics comes under the branch of statistics. And what is mean by statistics? Statistics is nothing but a calculation or as a, by, a calculation in the form of a graph by the given data from the given data. For example, if you see in the case of biostatistics, and the data which will be given for us will be uh, will be the in the field of biology. For example, I have written it gives the design results of biological experiments. Example, pharmacy and agriculture. And this is a, it is a type of business in such a way. If you take a business calculation, normally there will be ups and downs which will be calculated in the graphs, right? Example, and if you take in the field of pharmacy, how many in the that is nothing but medicines. How many medicines has been uh, approved and how many medicines has been not approved, which was which was transported and which was not transported in the field of agriculture we can easily explain this agriculture for example if you take a farm and within that crop within, there are, within the farm there are many crop aids for example if you take wheat rice and uh, walnuts for example if you take many things and if you take that how much of how much amount of uh, how much amount of each crop has been raised for example if you take wheat how much amount of wheat has been raised how much amount of rice has been raised in that way we can calculate with the help of these biostatistics applications only okay and this is about the biostatistics and normally types of biostatistics are measures of central tendency measures of dispersion diagrammatic representation of data graphical representation of the data so i am going to explain you each of them in this video i'm going to give you i mean i'm going to give you just formulas of this and from the next video i'm going to give you the derivation of that formula and also and also i'm going to give you uh, the sum and also to calculate how to calculate that sum uh, for example if i'm going to give you a mean regarding that sum and that sum how to calculate that sum will be explained by me okay in my next videos but in this way i'm going to just give you formulas so firstly let us discuss about first one measures of central tendency so now let us discuss about the first one measures of central tendency normally before entering into this uh, measures of central tendency topic firstly you have to know that all of these measure, measures of central tendency and measure of dispersion i have explained you before right measure of central tendency and measure of dispersion all of this both can be explained by three types of series if you see here individual series discrete series and continuous series so formulas for each of type, each type of series will be different okay and coming to the mean median mode these are the three types of central tendencies okay mean median and mode and within that mean it consists of mean individual series mean discrete series mean continuous series in the same way median also median individual series median discrete series median continuous series more individual series more discrete series and more continuous series also so in this way these are this this comes under the classification of measure of central tendency in the same way measure of i have explained you in the second one right in that in that also there are different types of classification and that classification comes out comes under this series only so if i will explain you if you see my full video then you can understand uh, this classification so firstly let us discuss mean individual series and discrete series and continuous series just i'm going to explain you about mean and next i'm going to explain you about median and next i'm going to explain you about mode i'm not going to explain in a brief in this video in this video i'm just going to give you formulas in next further videos i'm going to explain you briefly along with the examples so now let us discuss about the formulas so now let us learn the formulas of mean individual series mean discrete series and mean continuous series so coming to the first one mean individual series uh, the formula of our to calculate the data given in the mean individual series is x bar is equals to sigma x by n here sigma indicates total or else sum okay so coming to the uh, derivations if you see here sigma x is nothing but sum of all values of x 
that is nothing but if you if they give question for us in the form of data then you can understand that i will explain you later i have said you before only i will explain you in my next video how to apply this formula for a sum of mean individual series and here n is equals to number of observations and for an example if you see here i have written sigma x is equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 in before only i have said you sigma sigma means total or else sum that is nothing but sum of all values of x these are the values of x which will be given in the data and you have to uh, do addition of that you have to calculate each of them you have to add all of that and then you will get the value of sigma x and n is nothing but how many number of x values are there you have to count and you have to write the n i will explain you in the next video uh, and coming to the b second one mean discrete series the formula is x bar is equal to sigma fx by sigma f or else you can also write you can also apply sigma fx by n difference is uh, in denominator if you see here here is the presence of sigma x and here is the presence of n sigma f is nothing but sum of frequencies which will be given in the data in the question they will give you and you have to you have to add all of them sum of the frequencies and n is nothing but i have written here itself number of observations coming to the third one mean continuous series x bar is equals to sigma fm by sigma f and here if you see here sigma fm here i have written m here it is f but i have written here m m is nothing but midpoint midpoint is nothing but normally continue what is mean by continuous series continuous series nothing but they will give you class range if you see here, these are the classes 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 they will give you in the data so you have to know the midpoint that is nothing but if you see in the case of 10 to 20 what is the midpoint here 15 that is nothing but see here 10 to 20 what will be the midpoint in the name itself it indicates midpoint is nothing but uh, the middle point so what is the middle point of 10 to 20 15 okay if you see in the case of 0 to 10 what is the midpoint 5 is the midpoint in that way you have to know okay coming to the sigma f is nothing but sum of frequencies which will be given the your data and coming to the sigma fm a means sum of frequencies into midpoint that's nothing but frequencies i have given here right and you have to multiply these frequencies and the midpoint value that is nothing but sigma fm so now let us discuss about the median median individual series median discrete series and median continuous series so coming to the median so in this median individual series, median discrete series and median continuous series. Coming to the first one, median individual series, m is equals to n plus 1 by 2. This is the formula for the median individual series where m is equals to median and n is equals to number of observations. And how to calculate, I will save you in the next video. And next here coming to the second one, median discrete series, m is equals to n plus 1 by 2. And here in this median discrete series, you have to also calculate cumulative frequency also cf is cf is nothing but cumulative frequency if you get the value of cumulative frequency then only you can get the value of n here but here in this case there is nothing to calculate cumulative frequency value without calculating the cumulative frequency value you can know the you can identify the value of n but here you cannot identify it and m is equal to median n is equal to number of observation and cf is nothing but cumulative frequency how to calculate this cumulative frequency i'll say in the further videos and next third one median continuous series m is equal to n plus 1 by 2 firstly you have to calculate this value and after calculation of this value then what you have to do is you have to calculate the final value with by using another formula if you see a median is equal to n plus n by 2 by cf whole by f into i and uh, that is nothing but L is nothing but lower limit of median class. So what is mean by this? For example, in continuous series 10 by 10 to 12. 10 to 12 means uh, uh, what is the lower limit here? 10. 10 is a lower limit. And higher limit is nothing but 12. So in this higher limit is not required and only lower limit is required. So from 10 to 12, which is a lower limit? 10 is a lower limit. Whereas if you see in the case of 15 to 20, 15 is a lower limit. Or as 30 to 40, 30 is a lower limit in that way. CF. CF is nothing but cumulative frequency but in this case in the case of continuous series you have to take cumulative frequency value of the preceding value that is nothing but if you see uh, normally wait a minute if you see in the board I have written the cumulative frequency values right here 12 12 17 18 20 21 27 right so normally the cumulative frequency values were given in the data in this way then if you got the value of cumulative frequency as 21 then you have to take 
20 as a cumulative frequency value only in this continuous series of median okay and that's nothing but that's only that you have i have written here preceding so what is the main purpose of this median is uh, what how to calculate this median is normally if you get n plus 1 by 2 if you get for example if you got third or by value which you got is 3 or as 4 then you have to identify what is the fourth value in the data which was given for you and in this case if you see in the continuous series if you got that value by doing n plus 1 by 2 if you get if you got an example for fourth value then you have to identify the four value in the data which was given for you if the data which is given for us if you identify the fourth value if you got the answer as 21 then you have to take cumulative frequency preceding that is nothing but 20 you have to take 20 that is nothing but preceding value so I hope it will be a little bit confusing but when I explain you properly in next video then you can understand properly so coming to the F F is nothing but frequency and I is nothing but class interval class interval is nothing but in this case I have written 10 to 15 so what is the class interval here 5 that is nothing but count how many numbers are there in the middle 10 11 12 13 14 15 so totally how many are 5 are there in this case you have to write 5 this is nothing but class interval so now let us discuss about more so now let us discuss about more continuous series i have written the formula of directly continuous series i have de i didn't written uh, individual series and discrete series why because normally in this classification of the mode you have to draw just a table and then only you can uh, get to know the value of mode but in the case of continuous series you have to draw the table and also you have to apply the formula also but in the case of individual series and discrete series only table is enough to calculate the value of mode so coming to the case of uh, continuous series mode is equals to L plus delta 1 by delta 1 plus delta 2 into I L is equals nothing but lower limit of the model class delta 1 is difference between the frequency of model class of frequency of preceding class delta 2 is succeeding class that is nothing but uh, difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency of succeeding class this is preceding class and this is succeeding class and I is nothing but class interval and how to apply this formula I'll say in the next video so the what is the main purpose of this video is to you have to just note down all the formulas then only you can get uh, calculate each of the data easily so all of the all of the people note down all of these formulas who are interested only okay and up to now we have completed about mean median mode right so before what I have said you this comes under the classification of measure of central tendency which one mean median mode comes under the classification of measures of ten central tendency so now let us learn about measures of so coming to the second one measures of dispersion so measure of central tendency I have explained you which comes under the classification of mean median mode and coming to the second one measure of dispersion and the class and is the class classified into three types range mean deviation and standard deviation and coming to the range the formula is l minus s by l plus s and l is nothing but it is the largest value s is nothing but smallest value so you have to in enumer numerator l minus s in denominator l plus s so you have to calculate the largest value minus smallest value in numerator and is in denominator you have to calculate as largest value plus smallest value then you will get the answer it is very easy to calculate and coming to the mean deviation again it is further classified into three types mean deviation of individual series mean deviation of discrete series and mean deviation of continuous series and again further formulas will be present for this and coming to the standard deviation it is again classified into three types standard deviation of individual series standard deviation of discrete series and standard deviation of continuous series so firstly let us discuss about mean deviation of individual series formulas and all of these three so coming to the mean deviation of individual series uh, the formula is sigma x minus x bar by n or sigma d x bar by n and if you see here I have drawn like bracket like symbols right what is the main meaning of the symbols are uh, it computes or else it converts the negative value into positive it ignores the negative value for example if you take minus 4 and if that minus 4 is present within these brackets then the negative value will get removed it ignores that negative value that minus 4 will get converted to plus 4 that is the main purpose we uh, while we keep these brackets here and dx bar is nothing but deviations from mean and n is equal to number of observation and x is equal to observations so coming to the second one mean deviation in discrete series sigma f in the same way I have here I have written here brackets you have to apply there and here you have to write fx minus x bar by sigma f or else this is another formula and coming to here this is a formula so coming to the next standard deviation and 
and individual series, discrete series and continuous series. So coming to the measures of dispersion, I have said you that there will be again of three types, standard deviation of individual series, standard deviation of discrete series and standard deviation of continuous series, right? So coming to the standard deviation of individual series, the formula is S is equals to under root sigma x square minus sigma x whole square by n whole by n minus 1 or you can instead of instead of writing n minus 1 you can also write n and if you see here in this case sigma x square minus sigma x whole square there is a difference between these both right if you see here this is sigma x square that's nothing but firstly they will in the data that's nothing but in the question they will give you the variable of x right and there will be many variables for example if there are 10 variables uh, and each of the variable consists of 2 3 5 7 etc and you have to do addition of all of all of those variables that is nothing but 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus in that way you have to do all of those then you will get the value of sigma x you will get the value of sigma x only and then you have to calculate the variable of x whole square x square that is nothing but if you got the value of 10 then you have to do it square that is nothing but you will get the value of 100 but if you see in this case sigma x whole square here there is a presence of only square but here whole square that is nothing but if you, got, if you got the value of sigma x by doing addition of all the variables of x then you will get the value of sigma x right and if you got the sigma x value as uh, 200 then you have to do its whole square okay then you will get the value of sigma x whole square and then you have to apply all of this uh, formula then you will get the value of individual series of standard deviation coming to the standard deviation of discrete series as this is equals to under root sigma fx square minus sigma fx whole square by sigma f by uh, whole by sigma f minus 1 and here s is equals to under root sigma fm square minus sigma fm whole square by sigma f by whole by sigma f and if you see here m is nothing but midpoint what is midpoint i have said you right midpoint is nothing but if you see in the case of 10 to 20 15 will be the midpoint or else 0 to 10 5 will be the midpoint if you can if you took in a case of 30 to 50 which will be the midpoint obviously 40 will be the midpoint in that way so in the next two videos i am going to explain you properly along with the examples how to apply these formulas for each of the each of the right for example if you see in the case of mean median mode and again they will be subclassified like individual series discrete series and continuous series i have said you right so for each of the series each of the mean i am going to explain you with examples in my next two videos so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this topic please comment in the comment box and clarify your doubts immediately thank you